Okay, so we have here a little problem. I'm going to slide that down. You can see it a little better. Find the point B on AC such that the ratio of AB to BC is 2 to 1. So this is when we start getting into line segments that are what we call directed line segments. They have a direction. We're going to go from A through some point B that exists here and get to C. And, and you know, so that as we go from A to B, and B to C, B divides this segment into a ratio of two units here on the AB side to one unit there on the BC side. So, you know, you'd be tempted if you had this job. I know I, I would be tempted to just take my ruler, measure how far it is, and then let's think, how would we solve that? Well, we'd probably say, okay, what is, you know, what, what how do I divide this so that two parts are over here and one part's over there? Well, I need to find, like going from A to B, I need to find the part that's two-thirds of the way. Because that point, I'm going to estimate it right about here, this needs to represent two parts, and this part right here needs to represent one part. So two of the thirds from A to B. Whatever my distance is from A to B, I'm going to go two-thirds of that distance. So, that, that, you know, one, two, and there's the last third. That'll be two steps here to one step there, okay? Now, um, you know, of course, if I went the other direction, I could do one third this direction. So now, once we kind of see that, we have to think to ourselves, okay, how, how to make that work, right? How are we going to make that work? We want to go two thirds. Let's get this guy out of here two-thirds of the way from A to C. So what we can do is we just say, well, what's the total distance from A to C? So A is at what point here? It's at positive 2, and it is at negative 8 on the y-axis, right? The x-axis, we're over here at positive 2 and down to negative 8, right? And C is over here at negative 4, negative 4. 4, comma, and up to positive 7. So, you know, that's helpful to me. I know I'm going to go from 2 on this axis. I'm going to go all the way to negative 4. So that's, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units to my left. All right? I'm going back 6 units or minus 6 units this direction, right? And, and then I'm going up, right? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 units up. So what I did for you right there is I just drew my slope triangle, didn't I? Look at that. I counted that out, drew my slope triangle. I said 15 units, right? 15 units over 6 units. And it's a negative slope because it's going downhill from right, from left to right. Or it's going uphill from in a backwards direction from A to C. So we would go back 6 in order to go up 15, right? So that's where we end up with this slope, 15 over negative 6. So now we don't want to go negative 6 and we don't want to go 15. Instead, we want to go two thirds of the way. So instead of two thirds of six, we're going to, or two thirds, instead of all the six to the left, we're going to go two thirds of six. Get this guy out of here. We don't need him. Two thirds of six. And you might notice that this is a good thing. You can do two over three times six. And since that's a fraction, we can do this. 3 and 6. 6 is changed into 2 times 3, right? And 3 and 3, these are common factors, so they cancel. So instead of going, we want to go 2 thirds of the way, we're going to go back 4. This was a negative 6, by the way. So we're going back 4 from here. So our point that divides it would be back 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me get a different color and mark it right there. There it is. And notice that I've divided this segment into 
there's two units, that's one third. There is the two thirds part. So this is two pieces here. One, two, and one piece here. All right? Now we need to do the same thing. We need to say what is two thirds of 15? That's our next big question, right? And we're going to do it the same way. We have two over three times 15 over one. And we can cross out the 15 and call that three times five. And the reason for doing that is because we have a factor of three here that can be canceled. So two times five is equal to 10. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. If we broke this into thirds, each third would be five. So we'd go one, two, three, four, five. That's one third, right? One third of the journey there. Then we'd go one, two, three, four, five more. So there we go. We are at two thirds of the journey right here. So in other words, this makes up a ratio 10 to five. That's two parts here to one part there. All right, this is five and five and five. We have two sets of five here, right? So where is our point at? Well, it's over four, up 10, so it's right here. So my answer for this question is gonna be negative two, positive two. But let's investigate this a little further. What did we really do? We found out this was six. Well, remember this two and negative four. To find this distance that we've traveled, we would take two minus a negative four, right? which is really, at, and then we multiply by two thirds. And really that's x minus x. All right, and that would tell us the distance or the length here. And then we would know that that's a, actually this is a positive length, right? So we're really going backwards. So we would remember that we're gonna go back that direction. But at least we could see that we're gonna go this direction and that's how we could figure it out. If you were just using numbers, right? So your X value, you would start at the point where you're, you're directing from. So this is you know, the directed line segment AC. So we're going from A to B first and then from B to C. So we would say, give me two thirds of it. Now where did the two thirds come from? Remember this ratio, that is two parts to one. So we're talking about going two parts of the journey out of a total of three parts. There's three, three total parts. So two out of a total three parts. So that's where the two third comes from. And then I just say, well, how, how long is that leg, right? And now this leg, I'm gonna figure out how long that is and that's really the difference in the Y value. So I would want to go up two thirds of, let's say negative eight minus seven, all right? The difference between negative eight and seven. And when I get that, I get negative 15 and I multiply. I just remember I'm going up at that point. Okay, we're actually gonna go up. And that would give you negative 15, but anyway, times two. That would be negative 10. And we just remember that we're direction. The, the, the key to using this kind of algebra here, for me, is to remember that I'm starting where I'm starting and which direction I'm going. That is the absolute critical part of this problem. Recognizing the direction that you're going, you're starting here to there, this is how far you're gonna go, this is how far you're not gonna go, but the total units are three. So you're gonna go two of them and you're not gonna go to the third, right? So that's why we say two thirds, okay? So anyway, you can figure that point out, how much distance you're gonna travel. This is not really a coordinate, but you can think your X value is gonna get moved in the direction that you need to go to stay consistent with the segment. It's gonna get moved in the amount of two thirds times X minus X, right? And then it's gonna go up or down. And we probably just say absolute value of x minus x and then introduce that about introduce that direction here right over here we have 
two thirds times we say the absolute value of x minus x or y minus y. This is y minus y. When you subtract them, right, and then you just take the up and say that's a total of 15. We're going to go up 10 of them or two thirds of them. So that's how those can be done. Okay. And we have put our answer in here, which was what was it? Negative 2, 2. Negative 2, tab 2. Now, here I don't have the information given to us. A, B, and C. B is already there. The ratio of A, B to B, C is 2 to 1. So, in other words, whatever distance I've traveled between A and B represents two units. And from B to C is going to be one unit. So, from B to C is halfway. So this is really best to see, you know, actually in a plane somewhere. Let's go to GeoGebra. See if I can get that to come up here. And I'll close out my CAS and we'll just look at the graphics here. So I'm going to put point A. Oh boy. GeoGebra moving slow. I got too much going on in this old computer at the same time. And I may not be able to do this. Let's just do it by hand. I'll just do a sketch by hand. Big mistake using GeoGebra right now. Okay, so here we go. Instead, we're going to zoom out here. We'll do it by hand. And I just do a rough sketch because I am a little bit worried about time. So here we go. Starting out at 7, negative 2. So I'm going to start out at 7, negative 2. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down two. And I'm going to go to one, negative six. So I would go one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, negative six is right there. So this journey right here, I'm going to figure out what it's rise and run is right what that slope triangle would look like that connects these lines right here this line these points for the segment that connects these points and then i'm going to divide it in half and i'm going to add that extra half here so that i end up finding the point that's down there okay so remember this point here was at what was it one two three four five six seven negative two is that right double check that seven negative two and this one was at one negative six so what happened how far did we go on the x-axis well from one to seven is six units so what's half of that right i want to go half of that would be three units so i go three units three units and guess what i'm going to go three more units in that direction so from one i'm going to go zero negative one and negative two so i go out here to negative two that would continue this one, two, and divide it. So there's two units here of three each and one unit here of three. So two to one. And then my down motion was, was from negative two to negative six, right? So that meant I went down two, three, I went down four, and half of that is down two, down two. So my, my total slope triangle here is negative four over negative six, down four, back six from this direction to that direction. And this was A and this was B. So I need to continue going in this direction. But instead of doing the full down four over six, I'm gonna do half of it down two over three. I've already gone down two, so I'm or down th over three. Now I gotta go down two from here. So from negative six, I go down, boom, boom. And I'd be right here at negative two. And that would be, and I went down from negative six, so negative eight. Okay, and that would be a slope triangle. There we go, down one, two, and over one, two, three. So this represents a, a fraction or a ratio of two parts here, boom, to one part there. And I'm just really just dividing up my, my um, slope triangles. I'm making slope triangles, dividing them, and I can see them there. So negative two, comma, oops, I don't do the comma, and just negative eight. All right, that's how those are done, okay? Get working on them.